So, today we have a bunch of enemies trying to destroy this crystal here. And we have to make sure they don't get that far by lining their entire approach with traps, like arrows that will shoot them immediately when they enter the area. And we can also put down some roadblocks to adjust their route. So, instead of going down this way, they'll be forced to go through this fire trap that's already here. That'll be fun. And then we just make sure that there are traps going down the rest of the way. Ooh, like an oil tar trap, which can interact with other special effects. So if we place this before the fire trap, will they be covered in oil and then lit on fire? I want nothing but pain for these enemies that are coming through here, especially underfoot because we have a bunch of these spine traps here. Ow! So we'll just decorate the floors like we do. And now we're out of resources. So it's time to start the battle and just see how absolutely decimated they're going to be. They can't even make it past these first couple of traps, which is a little disappointing. I put so much work down over here. Well, if it's this easy, then we can just advance the wave and we get some additional rewards out of it too. And they're calling out for help. Oh, they're not having a good time. Ooh, a boar is making it through. Go, little guy, go. So you could die up here. And we can just advance the wave again because we're looking really good about things. These poor guys do not want to be here. And this guy's like, I will punish you. It's like, uh-huh, sure you will. The boards are actually making it fairly far. And now, ooh, they have some big guys with them now. So now they are making some good headway through all the traps. I really hope they get to this part here. I don't have a lot of defenses set up over here, so maybe I should do that really quick. And the big guy is actually making it some fairly good way. But he is going to expire right there, and we get a little bit of a break. So we can reevaluate some things. I really want to see these traps in action. So let's actually sell these ones here as effective as they are. And then we'll just make sure they have a bad time trying to make it the rest of the way. Like setting up some more arrow traps pointed this way and another one pointed this way. And then if they do happen to make it past the fire traps, there'll be a lot of spines here. Okay, maybe just one. But now we can advance to the last wave. And those boars are really cruising through there. Sadly, they don't have nearly the health to survive all the traps. And we're looking pretty good so far. Should we advance the wave for some more rewards? They're all dying at pretty much the same spot, so I think we can do that. And the boars are going to take advantage of all the other guys that are coming through here. And oh, they're making it to the oil. Oh, not quite. Those arrows are really efficient. A little too efficient. Let's sell these ones. And now these spine traps are being way too efficient. So let's sell those. I want to say some of these guys get lit on fire. Okay, you know what? Sell all these and then sell this one as well. I accidentally leveled up the oil trap. Oh, well. And then selling you as well. I need to see these guys get cooked. Okay, now they should be able to go through the oil and then they get slowed down. Let's sell the arrows because they're being a bit too efficient. And sure enough, the fire trap has proven to be very effective. They don't even make it past that. Wow. All in all, our dungeon has been very effective. And we get a lot of rewards out of it too. So we can pick a new trap. Ooh, like fire. I like the looks of that. And then we get to move on to new and exciting things. Like a blacksmith, so we can enhance our traps. Let's go ahead and enhance the fire one right away, because that looks like a lot of fun. And then there's a treasure that we can get, so we can pick up a relic. Molotov cocktail applies burn to enemies who are displaced. Interesting. Or we could just pick up this precise instrument to randomly enhance two traps. Sure. So we enhance the spine trap and the fire trap twice. Oh, that's amazing. I'm in a sanctuary so we can learn skills. So we can get arrow rain. That'll be helpful, but maybe not as effective as the traps that we do have. And what is this here? A frost floor. So we have a lot of open space here. Let's try and block off some paths. So we place a roadblock here and then they'll have to go up and around there. But I also want to block off here. So they have to go down and around because they'll take the path of least resistance. We can also just send them through the frost trap right away too. Although that also nullifies this roadblock here. So let's sell you. And then we sell this one to put a roadblock here. And then they go down that way. So we put one here. And then they go up, down, and that's good. So we can put this fire trap to work. Cooking them right before they get to the frost trap. And then since they'll be moving slow, it'll be more efficient for them to walk on these spines. Ooh, and we can slow them down before the fire trap as well. How big is the range of this? Not very far, actually. So let's just place it right in front of it. And that's all the resources we have. All right, this might be putting all my eggs in one basket a bit too much but we'll see how it goes so they're walking down they hit the oil and they get slowed down and oh my gosh that guy got cooked instantly 
Wow. I was a bit worried about the restricted range, but it is proven to be very good. Except now they have a shaman, which has quite a bit more health, and it can summon other orcs. That's not good. Well, let's just let you get cooked, and your summons are gonna die instantly as well. And oh, yes, even the shaman didn't make it through. Okay, now we have a big guy. How much health do you have? 450. All right. Hopefully he doesn't make it past the spine traps, although we do have arrows if he does. But oh, is he gonna get cooked? Yes, he got cooked right away. The fire trap is excellent. I love it so much. Okay, now we have a few shamans, but that's not going to make too much of a difference. I love this thing. Going to summon a few more to shield myself. Oh, the shaman actually did make it through. Good on you. Died of spines right away. And the last enemy goes down there, so we have a bit of a time to reconsider. Which, do we even need to? I kind of just want to level up the fire trap. Not too sure what the level ups do exactly, except maybe some more damage so they can't even get through. So we should be able to cook the big guys a lot sooner than that. Our ranks are endless. Yeah, so is my fire. Would it be too much to call in the next wave right away we can give it a try and the shaman should be able to go down pretty quickly as well oh yeah beautiful there is absolutely no way they're getting through all of this doesn't matter how many summons that the shaman does that fire trap is the best thing i have ever seen Ooh, a rotary blade trap which also pushes enemies Interesting. So let's get a new trap at the trap room. Oh, a silver floor. Yes. All the fire. And some new treasure. Ooh, an engineering book. When using pits to get bonus materials, I'm not doing that too much here. Oh, this looks good. When we have less than 12 traps, they're... Attack delay is decreased. That's perfect. Especially since I'm putting all of my investment into one trap. So now we have a tablet here. Tell me what you need and nature will come to your aid. Okay, relic wooden doll. What does that do? First time damage is taken. Prevent it. We're not taking damage though. Increase skill damage by 15%. Yeah, between these two, I'll take the natural altar. On to the next battle. Oh, this one has the crystal in the center of the map. Well, thankfully we can just stop that instantly. So now they have to take the long way. We also have some traps up here. Well, at least we can place one roadblock here so they have to take a longer path that's always good and we can take this level two spine trap or two star spine trap and then place it hmm i don't want to have some fun with things we'll have this be down here in case they get through and now we have the rotary blade which pushes enemies i'm not sure what direction it pushes them but if we place it in front of a pit then that should hopefully be good things and then we'll have an arrow trap as backup for that Where's my fire trap? I want the fire trap. Well, let's just place it here. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't realize the natural altar was like a placeable thing. Interesting. Well, we're currently out of funds, so let's just go into this battle. So the fire trap is not on a corner this time. It's on a straight path, so maybe they'll make it through. But then again, the attack delay is decreased because we only have a few traps out in the field. So it's cooking them very quickly. Let's just call in some more baddies. Not that they're going to make a whole lot of difference. Oh, now we have some armored orders here that nope. sadly expire about the same time really makes me wonder why i put all these other traps down at least we can get some more rewards out of it these poor little guys have no idea what they sign up for and these treasure goblins just really aren't doing it for it either so now we have enough to build a natural altar what does that do for us what if we place that just like here or something Ooh, that's pretty and it only affects our skills so we really don't need it but we do have a lot more waves coming in do we need more things Nah, not really. What if we put a roadblock right in their path? So they have to focus on destroying it before they progress. Oh, they're taking that way. Okay, never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> is this the end? Yes, it absolutely is. Move on to the next wave. Take all the rewards. Our fire trap has racked up 130 kill count. Oh, that is menacing. And the roadblocks also don't have that much health. All right, I do want to see this rotary blade trap. So if we sell that and then redraw a few times. Ooh, the sulfur floor. Oh, now we can cook them a little bit before they get to the fire pit or the fire trap all right but we re-roll one more time oh no way we can place two of them that is just mean but in any case i do want to see this rotary blade trap in action so let's put them through there and then oh they just get diced immediately this thing is so rude as well all right it does have a big delay though and it looks like they get pushed straight back oh but that one fell into the pit oh beautiful so i guess it depends on where they are in the trap when it activates and if they don't get diced right away wow so many of these traps are so rude and the big guy gets pushed into the pit so that's fun and even if they do make it through they get cooked instantly 
I love it so much. Except the rotary blade has a huge delay, so it's not the most efficient thing. Nothing as efficient as fire. Ooh, a projectile trap. That's a straight up gun. Ooh, we can get an impetus floor that increases the damage of nearby traps. So we can get a new trap, a hook trap that pulls things. Sure, that'd be fun. And we can also enhance it if we wanted to. Sadly, we can't enhance the fire trap anymore. But if we enhance the impetus floor, then I bet that enhances the level. Oh, I see. Enhancing decreases material consumption. That's not nearly as exciting. Although it is pretty expensive as it is now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and enhance it. Okay, now we have what looks to be a boss because it's a big scary skeleton. A little spooky, if you will. Troll Witch Doctor. Somewhat resistant to magic attacks. Well, good thing we're just gonna cook all these guys. Ooh, and it comes with an acid trap. That's effective, I hope. There's also a paralysis trap up there. So if we place one roadblock here, then they have to move past it. That's gonna be helpful. And now we just do what we do best, which is coat their entire path with pain. Okay, here we don't get our big hitters. So let's just go ahead and bring in a couple spines as well and oil tar to go right after it right there. Ooh, there it is. It almost feels rude to place it at the beginning. So we'll just place it a little bit later if they do manage to make it through. And we can put a rotary blade like right here. Let's see, how many traps is that on the field? Only seven? Yeah, we're fine. Let's just start the battle. I feel like we know how this is gonna go. Those treasure goblins Goblin. are getting cooked right away and that's really as far as they get. Oh, these poor suckers. Let's just advance the wave. Let's see how long you can last against the first party. This is the second one, actually. Okay, there's a big guy coming through. Hopefully he can survive a little bit longer than the other guys. Ooh, there's a jackal going through. Go, go, go. And he dies right away. Can the big guy make a pass a floor trap? He actually can. So he gets the privilege of being the first one to die to the fire trap. Oh, good on you, sir. I'm actually amazed at how efficient these traps are. Oh, there's a big guy. Uh, that's not uncommon. It's, it's a troll witch. Whoa. Okay, so you have a lot of health. And woo, he heals his units too. That would be helpful for about three seconds. And even as far as he makes it, he still doesn't have enough health to survive the fire trap. Goodbye. Wow, that was really good. We didn't even get to see these other things go into effect. So let's take away the spine trap. It's a little too efficient. And then I really want to see that hook pole trap. There it is. Oh, and the impetus floor. That's right. So how big is this range? Well, put in the hook trap first. Oh, we can't place it over this pit because of the fire trap being there, but we can place it over here to face this way. It has the range for it. And then the impetus floor, we should be able to affect a lot of traps if we place it there. Yeah, perfect. And then if we level you up, then it should increase the damage amount up to 37 percent i mean really what more do you need and they're not even making it past the sulfur floor because they're getting cooked so fast oh these poor guys and the big guy just got pulled into the pit yes and we still have so few traps that the cooldown isn't that much that is wonderful but fire really is still the big hitter here oh one person did make it through to the fire trap excellent and the sulfur floor has 70 kills under its belt Oh, good job. Let's level you up. So we do get a bit more of a break. We actually have a lot of ways incoming. Not that it's making too big of a difference. I don't even need to change anything. Except maybe leveling up the sulfur because that cooks them so beautifully. I can't imagine it smells very good, but the results are wonderful to behold. Oh, and it looks like the jackals are sort of making it through. Not quite, though. We're just gonna keep advancing the ways because... I need to see a challenge here. And then we'll advance it again. We're gonna see a lot of enemies stacked up in one area. And we're also seeing a few witch doctors here that also get pulled into the pit. Oh, goodbye. There's really nothing that these orcs can do. I almost feel bad for them. No amount of healing is saving them from the absolute slaughter. It only hurts a bit, he says. How does the pit feel? All right, now we have the wave with the boss. It would be hilarious if he got pulled into the pit right away. Although I imagine he has a lot of health, so let's pull in a few more traps just in case. Although that does put me over the trap limit for the cooldown being reduced. So let's sell this paralysis trap. It's not seeing any action. And then probably this rotary blade as well because it's also not. And now the cooldown is reset. So let's go into it. Let's see this boss. We just gotta wait for him to show up past all of these regular, weaker, and more pitiful orcs. Okay, we're seeing some normal witches. Oh, there's the boss right there. Face the immortal troll. He does have a lot of health. Let's see if it helps him. Oh man, if he gets pulled into the pit right away, I'm gonna feel, oh, not quite. All right, he is making it pretty far as well, actually. So we're gonna need a few more traps here. Oh, and he heals himself too. Okay, yep, spines as well, just all in a row. And then another fire trap to go right here. Okay, he actually made it pretty far. 
Good job, boss. So now we get a new trap. Ooh, guards mark. Summon guards to fight enemies? That'd be interesting. And that's only the halfway point. There's a bigger boss coming up here soon. So let's just enhance some things like the sulfur floor. Get some treasure. Perfect vision. Treasure goblins give extra resources, so that could be a good thing. Okay, I really think we can have fun with this paralysis trap over a sulfur pit. Oh, this is gonna be evil. Am I the bad guy? What is this trap here? A push board. And it's right over the pit. Oh, that is evil. I need to see it happen. Just need to make sure they go the correct path. Oh, there's another pushboard right there, actually. That's a lot of pits over there. Okay, you know what? Forget this roadblock. This is where they're going. And we could put a rotary blade right there. Hook traps all along here. Oh, this is gonna be so rude. And then if they manage to make it through all of that, we can have a paralysis trap right here pointing this way. Fire trap just a little beyond that. Although I am not seeing a sulfur pit. So let's just place a cheap oil trap right here first. There's a sulfur floor. Okay, sell you and then put the sulfur right there. That's gonna hurt. Let's just go ahead and advance and see how this goes. I can't wait to see all these guys get pulled in. And the first one goes in. And then more. Oh, the treasure goblins just die right away. Wow. And now we have the guards mark. So if we put that here, select a location to summon right in front of the pit right there. And so they have to stop to fight the guards, which leaves them at the mercy of the hook even more. Oh, yes. Okay, they're also making it past this pushboard here. I bet I have too many traps. I think I do. Well, that gives our chance to see other traps happen, like the paralysis and the sulfur combined. These guards are actually being pretty efficient at destroying enemies, even though they only fight one at a time. And this armored orc strolls up to get zapped right away. <laughs> oh, that is devastating. I think we could just speed this up a little bit. Oh, he got pushed way too early. He didn't go into the pit. There's a fix. All right, they're not going to see this push board down here, so let's sell that. And that's the one trap that we need to sell. Perfect. So these push boards are pushing people every three seconds and this guy can't even get past it. He's in an endless cycle of torment. Oh, you poor thing. I need to just put down a spine trap just to put him out of his misery. There he goes. Okay, now we sell you. Ooh, an impetus floor to go right where the guards are standing. Does that count as a trap? It looks like it does. We're doing really good as it is. And now there's multiple guards standing on that spot. So there's more enemies that have to stop to fight them. I can still fight, he says. Okay, we do have more enemies making it through. But the paralysis trap is chaining to all of them very well. Why don't we level it up? Oh, there was two orcs pushed into the pit that time. Yay! That was really good. A steam engine? Decreasing delay of traps? Or a net trap that immobilizes enemies? I like the sound of that. And now we can go to a shop to spend all of our gold and we can spend all that money to enhance some traps like the sulfur floor again because we can oh we can only do that once so we can get a rune that increases the effectiveness of the oil tar traps oh and this ring is on discount so we get extra gold from battles nice and we can also remove traps so we see the ones that we want more often i'm not using this natural altar anymore so we don't need that and that was pretty effective and then we can get a new trap here like the oil tar that we just enhanced perfect so here we have arcane floors periodically deal magic damage. Ooh, that's fun. Although what's even more fun is gonna be this long corridor here that we'll set up. That'll just make their lives extra spicy for just a little bit. And we can also place a roadblock right here. So they have to go way up and around. And then some more roadblocks. So they have to go even more way up and around. But they're always finding some new ways to go through. That's just rude. There we go. That's what I like to see. We can also get another roadblock in here. So they have to go down all the way through there and then up and around. We're not seeing any like actual traps though. Not the ones that I want anyway. So we'll have to use the ones that we do have. Like some arrows pointed this way. And that's actually all we can afford. So let's hope these other traps hold up. At least we start with treasure goblins right away that give a lot of resources. And the arrow traps are very effective at eliminating all of them. Very good. Hey, we have some oil tar. So let's just put that right up here so we can slow them down right away. Oh yeah, that's really slowing them down. And now they're making it through. So the arcane floor, woo, zaps them a little bit. Amazing though, that guy powered through to the spine trap that's right there. This is actually really effective. I didn't have to place too many of my own traps. Let's also get another arrow trap down here. There we go. Making sure they don't get nearly as far as this guy. Although some of them are, we definitely need a lot more of the powerful traps that I have. And now things are starting to look really good. They're not making it past this arcane floor anymore. And even when they do, spine trap is the ultimate 
final destination. Okay, let's spend a redraw so I can hopefully get the traps that I want. Yes, there we go. So we can start to cook them way up here. And that's all the money that we had. Okay, but we do have a net trap that I want to place here in front of the sulfur trap so they burn a little bit more. That's a long time delay though. How many traps do we have out in the field? We have nine. So we're still looking good there. And there's the immobilization. All right, it's not total immobilization. They can still move. But they're also burning a lot more. I think that fire effect actually stacks. Okay, now we have enough for the fire trap. Should that go? I can go right up here. Yes! Burn! And the shamans really aren't having much better success either. Call as many orcs as you want. You're still gonna go down. And then an impetus floor right here will enhance the damage even better. Oh, these big armored orcs are suffering the most from the immobilization. And the increased stacking of the sulfur pit. So let's just level up the sulfur pit even more because that sounds like amazing and the impetus to level up damage even more that is beautiful right there i feel like these shamans are gonna get cooked right away as well and there's actually a few of them surprisingly okay they're not getting cooked right away but they're definitely not making it farther than the sulfur pit that was really good Ooh, you know what would be even better a paralysis trap right next to it because I'll chain to hopefully people that are still in the fire pit. So we just go into the last wave. Let's just speed this up a little bit because you know how this goes. And then we'll call in the last wave as well because I'm feeling really good about this. So many attacks that don't have to rely on hitting one enemy at a time. Okay, they're starting to make it a bit farther now that they're stacked together, but it's still not enough. Who even are these guys? Orc drummers? A lot of good you're doing there. Ooh, another impetus floor. That sounds like a fun time. We sadly don't have enough money to buy a new item, but we do have just enough to enhance another trap. So let's put it towards an impetus floor, the other one. And now we have a new event, and this lets us get a random special trap. Neat. Ooh, a tremor totem. Periodically fierce nearby enemies. Loses its ability to move or attack. Ooh, perfect for the final boss battle we're about to go into against Lord Duma or Duma or just Dumb. Why don't I call you Lord mm -hmm. Dumb? And we have a large empty map here. Oh, and a second portal down there. Okay, so we'll have to worry about two avenues of attack. Well, let's start placing some roadblocks going all the way down, and then hmm, they go up right there. I don't really want them to do that. If I can funnel all the enemies into one path, that would be better. Thankfully, we appear to have enough roadblocks to do that. Okay, so they have to go all the way around into sort of a spiral. This trap is way in the middle of nowhere, so that's not gonna help us. There's an arrow trap here. Hmm, I'm spending too much on roadblocks, and the traps I do have are getting a little expensive. Ooh, it looks like the path does take them over the arcane floor at least, so that's good. But I need to stop them early, I think. So let's put a guards mark right here on this corner here so we can stop them there. Ooh, fire trap next. Okay, good. I just need to take out some enemies and then gain some money back so we can pull in some good things like fire traps. So they cut down the treasure goblins hopefully quick, stopping all the advances that they can. Okay, we have new traps here coming in. Oh, it's a hook trap actually. That's even better if they were to walk past it. Here. Roadblock on this corner there, so they have to walk past it. And oh, there, that helps. They're making quite a bit of progress here. This isn't good. All right, it's a little risky, but I need to spend some money to buy traps. So we have Fire Trap going right there to fight these guys. That's a lot of guys pouring through there. Maybe I shouldn't have made that move. That was a bit risky. Okay, but now we have spines that we can place through at different points. There we go. That's damaging them pretty well. This extra max health is proving to be a little difficult. Impetus floor over here to affect these two pits or traps. Okay, even the big guys are getting cooked. That's a good sign. Ooh, sulfur floor. Right in front of the armed guards, I think. And we just need to take out these last couple of enemies and then we get a break. And thankfully they get extremely weak by the time they reach the fire trap. Yes, beautiful. A new entrance has opened up. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Thankfully, they're all going down the same path, but these enemies won't get damaged like these ones will. So here's what we'll do. We'll sell the sulfur pit here and then the oil pit here. We're getting some resources back and then we can get a net trap going here to assist the fire trap. And they spend a bit of time going through the middle like this. So if we put an arrow trap pointed this way, that should cover the, okay, it does cover that lane, good. I feel like I might have to start using the special abilities that I have. Okay. Thankfully, even the fast enemies can't get very far. This big guy's making it through, but he's about to have a bad time. Wonder what's gonna get him first, the net or the fire? It's the fire. Let's put the tremor totem right here, see if it, oh, oh, it makes them go all weird in their pathing. I thought I was just gonna stop them. Oh, that's interesting. And that shaman got pulled into the pit because he does not move very fast at all. 
Wow. All right, we can also put in another hook trap next to this one and some oil tar before that should be really helpful. So now we move on even more and we have effectively the same results. The hooks are going for the same units. Oh no, those are different units. Good. Yes, keep pulling him. He's not escaping. There is no way he's going to escape. Yes. And then here, let's just cook all their toes right over here. And then level up the sulfur trap twice because I love it so much. There's a witch going through. Oh, it's like a mini boss. I wonder how far he's going to get. Ooh, we can put a fire trap down right here. Yes. Yep, he's going through. Yes, get cooked. He is a guy that has a lot of health and he is healing himself. Although he is still reaching his end which is good. All right, we have another mini boss on wave 11, and then wave 12 is the big one. And we're about to see the boss come in right up there. Okay, it's the same one. We can deal with him. Oh, there's a big guy. There's Lord Duma. Lord Dum, as I like to call him. Does he do anything special? Has extremely high HP. Okay, well, he's still gonna have a bad time, especially if we bring in some more traps. He's making some funny sounds. It'd be really hilarious if he got pulled into the pit, but he's pretty heavy. At least he doesn't heal himself any which way, but he still has a lot of health, which is kind of crazy. So it might be time to pull in an arrow barrage right next to him. How is that drummer making it so far along with him? Oh, so he's the one pulling in the drummers. Interesting. Is he even gonna see the fire trap? He's going down very quickly. Oh, it looks like he will. Well, it was nice knowing you, but that's as far as you make it. Oh, and he got slowed down with the net too. That's even better. Haha! -ha! And the drummer's like, well, now what I do? But we did it! We have ultimate victory! So we can claim all those beautiful rewards like a new trap. Ooh, squeezing. Or just a straight up machine gun. I think I know what we're going for here. Two random traps and randomly enhance three of them? Yes, please. And there's a new boss waiting for us but i think that's a good spot to end the video so i hope you guys enjoyed guardians of home there's a lot of trap potential here so if you want to see more be sure to let me know thank you very much for watching and sub to intern and thanks to channel members including brad mr group one ancient elixir one kobe farm dakota c donomoto deviant x muffet suffer lucas s flyer sex real nickname edward hippo harold peggy sue drupal longs tj seriously sarcastic angel lily bites minor thin levi fox the guardian sands